If you're looking to sell your home in 2024, the most important question you can ask is whether it's a seller's market, a balance market, or a buyer's market. Hi, my name is Jay Goodhue, broker and co-owner of Legendary Real Estate Services. Looking at this graph, it says absorption rate, but it's actually months of inventory. So if we took all the inventory on the market right now and no new listings came on the market at all, how long would it take for the current demand that we have to absorb all that inventory? And right now it says 3.09. When we have a seller's market, that means we have less than four months of inventory. Four to six months is a balanced market where there's equal supply with equal demand and anything above six months, now that's a buyer's market. And that's what we saw after the housing market crashed in 2008. So what does this mean? Well, at 3.09 months of inventory, we're still smack dab in a seller's market. But if you look at this graph, it is a upward, all by gradual and slow trend. I think this is going to be a balanced market by the end of this year. And so what does that mean? The closer we get to a balanced market, the harder it's going to be to sell your home. Right now, it's definitely still a good time to sell your home. But keep in mind, the more competition you have uh, as more listings come online, that's what happens when you get more into a balanced market. There's more listings available. When that happens, that's going to put downward pressure on home prices, having so few inventory, that's putting upward pressure on prices, which is why homes have appreciated so much within the past several years. If you're looking to sell your home in 2024, you're going to need a lot more skilled negotiator on your side. In the past, it was just highest and best offer. Now it's going to be the best negotiated offer win. So definitely give us a call and we'll also do a complimentary home valuation so you know exactly where you stand in terms of price so that we can manage your expectations and you can make the best decisions for yourself and your family. Thanks for stopping by and we'll catch you in the next video.